Well, the weather forecast today has been super changeable. One minute, we've had torrential rain and hailstones. And the next minute, we've been basking in gloriously hot sunshine. In fact, the weather today has been so crazy and changeable that outside the city of Aberdeen, there was even a twister spotted moving through the sky, which is just insane. But as you can see at this exact moment, it's very, very sunny again, although we do have some very ominous clouds behind me. But I've come out because one thing I've been desperate to do since lockdown measures have begun to begin to be lifted here in Scotland is to come out to some of my local seabird colonies because I'm very lucky to live slap bang in the middle of the Bullers of Buchan and Troop Head, which is where I am today. The Bullers is home to everyone's favourite seabird, the Puffin, and Troop Head is home to the only mainland gannet colony in the whole of Scotland. And I thought, you know, why not just come out and enjoy it? So here I am, I'm finally out, finally going off to do some seabird photography for the first time this year, and I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be here today. It's obviously because it's the first time this year that I've been able to come to these colonies and to photograph the seabirds and it's one of my favourite times of the year for wildlife photography because as many of you will know I love the sea, I love the coast and when the seabirds are here nesting the atmosphere, the sound, just everything is an incredible experience to come out and enjoy. But I'm not just excited because it's the first time I've been here this year. I, I'm also excited because it's the first time I've ever done wildlife photography with the Z6 camera. And the main reason for this is because I don't personally own a zoom lens to do wildlife photography with. But Nikon have very kindly lent me their 28 to 300 millimeter lens along with their FXZ adapter, which means I can put it on my Z6. I can zoom in and hopefully photograph some of these seabirds today. So today is a really exciting day for many reasons. First time at the seabird colonies this year, first time doing wildlife photography with the Z6 and just um, super changeable day and we're seeing so many amazing wildlife, insects, birds on this new path that I've never seen before which is opening up so much opportunities. I'm telling you though, I was not expecting it to be this hot today. Oh, it's a roasting! Because it's a lot sunnier than I was anticipating and it's the first time I've used this camera and setup for wildlife photography, I'm expecting to be spending a lot of time over the next sort of half an hour or so just messing around with my camera, getting used to it and also trying to battle against the issue we have just now because it is so sunny. So obviously the gannets are very very white and because it's really sunny they're appearing as a very bright highlight and a lot of their surroundings are very dark, the cliff top areas and, and certain parts of the sea. So if the sun is to stay out, as it looks like it probably will for a wee while, there is some clouds coming but because it's not windy I imagine it will take quite a while for them to actually come over and obscure the, the sun. It's going to be very difficult for the next sort of half an hour, maybe even an hour to try and get really well exposed images and like I say because it's a new thing for me it's going to take me a while to get used to this so I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to speak to the camera for the next at least half an hour I'll show you some beautiful stills of the area I'm in just now and um, any photographs I managed to take and I'll probably speak to you all again later in the video about how I'm finding this new experience um, new camera first time out this year and uh, battling against these quite difficult situations and, and light this is going to be a challenge, but I like a good challenge. So, this did turn out to be a challenge, but a very enjoyable challenge that resulted in some pretty impressive photographs. I am now going to share a variety of these with you 
beginning with some flying gannet images. Please sit back and enjoy. It wasn't just the flying gannets that caught my attention. I also enjoyed watching and capturing some of the birds perched on the cliff's edge. Due to the harsh light, these images didn't look very good in colour, but by converting them to black and white, I was able to breathe some new light into them. Enjoy. to the path to undertake some close-up shots of insects. I was going to show them in this video, but what I discovered was so mesmerising that I feel they need to feature in a video all of their own. So you'll have to wait till next time to see them. I really struggle to film vlogs when I'm doing wildlife photography or macro photography. I'm not 100% not sure why. But I'm guessing it's because, unlike landscape photography, everything happens so quickly. You know, with landscape photography, you can get set up, you can be waiting for the light, you find a composition, and generally speaking, that composition isn't going to move. But obviously, when you're doing wildlife photography, things change very quickly. Wildlife moves around, um, you've got to get that shot really quickly. So it's near impossible, I find, to actually talk through the images that I've been taking. So that's why I had to sit through and talk through these images at home or wherever I decided to do those speaking parts. Um, it's just too difficult, too difficult to do wildlife and macro photography and talk about it at the same time. But it's something that I thoroughly enjoy and today was a real challenge I have to say, trying to work out what settings to use in this camera in terms of autofocus and tracking focus, single point focus. A lot to think about and a lot more settings needed to be used on the camera than I would normally use on an average landscape photography shoot. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been great fun to get out and do something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, I hope it's inspired you. Now we're beginning to, to get out of lockdown, to get out and enjoy the wildlife that you have in and around your home areas. I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.